there welcome to a new video from Techosa imagine a world where the only thing you can do with a smartphone is to call someone mm -hmm, not so smart right well that was the life 20 years ago and back then there was no internet in mobile phones now we are moving to the whole new standards in mobile interneting called 5G but what exactly is 5G how fast is it what are its special uses should we buy a new 5G enabled smartphone now? Stay tuned because we have answered to all these questions. You have seen this network symbol, right? It probably says LTE, 4G, 3G or if you're using an old Nokia phone, it shows E which simply means 2G. In the past 40 years, each generation of mobile network has introduced a new thing that we could transmit with our phone. First generation or 1G which was invented in the 1980s gives us the ability to call someone. This was what brought us to the very first cell phone. Second generation or 2G was formulated in the early 1990s and 2G let us text for the first time using cell phone. Yeah, 2G also gave us an introduction to mobile networks, though it was painfully slow. The third generation or 3G was built in the early 2000s. Actually from 3G onwards, technology changed a lot and we were able to use mobile internet applications like Facebook, YouTube, etc. The 4th generation or 4G LTE designed in 2010 brought us high-speed data connection which actually increased the speed up to 10 times. In India, however, 4G revolution was begin in 2016 when Jio was launched. High-speed data for the fraction of the cost of 3G. Everything changed. People started buying 4G smartphones. We started using YouTube a lot more. People started uploading videos to TikTok. I guess I got a little carried away. Now let's talk about 5G. 5G is the fifth generation mobile network. It is a new global wireless standard after 1G, 2G, 3G and 4G. 5G enables a new kind of network that is designed to connect everyone virtually and everything together including machines and devices. 5G wireless technology is meant to deliver a speed of 10 gigabits per second and an ultra low latency which is the delay between sending and receiving information between devices. This makes 5G more reliable. 5G has three main applications. The first one is to provide high speed mobile internet. The second is to provide easy connectivity between devices which is called the Internet of Things or IoT. And the third one is to provide low latency and reliable connection between machines like self-driving cars and robots. In the future, this will enable us to have smart home, smart vehicle and smart city. With super high speed internet, we can download HD movies in second. Also, 5G connectivity will provide better uses of virtual and augmented reality applications. Extremely high-quality cloud gaming will also be possible with 5G. With ultra-high bandwidth of 5G, we can connect many devices to a same network. This enables us to use multiple internet-based devices like smart home appliances. With ultra-low latency of 1 millisecond, we will be able to access real-time services like self-driving cars, advanced robotics and AI. Also, it will enable machines to communicate with each other without any delay. Now let's look at how 5G works. This is the electromagnetic spectrum. Different types of waves such as gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet, infrared, microwave, radio wave and even visible light are present in this spectrum. At the right end of the spectrum, we can see low energy radiations. Microwave are the ones that are used for mobile network communications. 2G uses 900 MHz frequency while 3G uses 2100 MHz frequency and 4G LTE uses up to 2500 MHz. Both 4G LTE and 5G uses a technique called OFDM 
that is orthogonal frequency division multiplexing and will also operate in the same mobile networking principle. However, a new 5G air interface will further enhance OFDM to deliver a much higher degree of flexibility and scalability. Okay, so what is orthogonal frequency division multiplexing or OFDM? Orthogonal frequency division multiplexing is a technique for transmitting large amount of digital data over a radio wave. The technology works by splitting the radio signal into multiple smaller sub-signals that are then transmitted simultaneously at different frequency to the receiver. But 5G has something much bigger than this. Have you ever heard of millimeter wave? 5G is designed to provide a much more higher network capacity by expanding a new spectrum such as millimeter wave. MM wave is a short range, high frequency network technology that really shows off what 5G can do. It's another step towards delivering on 5G's potential with super fast speed and more capacity. It has frequency of 24.25 GHz and more, which has 10 times more frequency than 4G LTE. So, what can you do in order to access 5G? Well, the sad news is that 5G hasn't started to roll out in India yet. It is available in some other parts of the world like the US and Canada. But when 5G launches in India, you would need a 5G enabled smartphone and a 5G SIM card in order to access it. Since 5G uses high energy radiations, many people around the world are worried about the health issues that 5G radiations may cause. Is there anything to be worried about? We are surrounded by electromagnetic radiations all the time, from television and radio signals as well as from a whole range of technologies including mobile phones and from natural sources such as sunlight. 5G uses higher frequency wave than earlier mobile networks, allowing more devices to have access to the internet at the same time and at faster speeds. These waves travel shorter distance through urban spaces, so 5G network requires more transmitter antennas than previous technologies positioned closer to ground level. The radio wave band used for mobile phone networking is non-anacing which means that it lacks sufficient energy to break apart DNA and cause cancer. Higher up the electromagnetic spectrum that is well beyond those frequencies used by mobile phones can cause clear health risk due to extended exposure. The sun's ultraviolet rays falls within this harmful category and can lead to skin cancer. People are concerned over the risk of cancer but it is crucial to note that radio waves are far less energetic than even visible light that we experience every day. So you don't have to worry about radiations even for 5G signals. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts and queries regarding this session, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. So see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.